walk? That's fucking stupid, Ben. I'm just saying. Hmm, I don't know. I ain't got much experience with y'all's fortitude, but we could probably deal with that. We got a goddamn train. Thing's not full of milk, Charles. That's gas or diesel. Something that's gonna explode. You gotta get a hold of yourself. This a crew here. This ain't shit. This. Yo! You keep screaming like that and you're gonna get your face chewed off. You guys gonna be trouble? Because we could have just kept walking. No, we're friendly! Put your hand down, kid. That's what everybody says. We know. Let's give these guys a break. We'll see. You guys got a problem with your train? Yeah. You're standing right in front of it. Dude, it's a wreck. It's not so bad from up here. Send your buddy up to have a look. Anything goes sideways up there, we won't let them escape. If I come up there, you better not be murderers or thieves. I guess you'll have to find out. A group of guys is what we need. They're what you think we need. We're doing fine. For now. What about when... Stop it. Hey, dude. I'm Omid. Lee. Krista. What's the deal with the train? We're driving it. Oh, man. Hey, I'm not gonna bullshit you. Our group is a little fucked right now. We had a bite victim, then his mom took her life, and before that, just... It's okay. Oh, shit! God damn, you guys have a kid! What are you doing up here? Do you know how long it's been since I've seen a kid? Shit! What's your name? Clementine. Oh, so he gets to swear. Well, this is great! See? Things are looking up. You're not her dad. He down there? It's that obvious? To me. And no, he's not down there. Huh. What's your story? I came across Clementine alone. First day all of this happened. I was actually incarcerated. Sick. Do you have any prison tats? I, uh, didn't make it that far. And everybody down there, they're cool? Kenny lost his wife and kid. Man, how long ago? What time is it? Uh, I don't know, uh, four? Maybe two hours ago. God damn. We're sorry for anything that's happened to you guys. The train is awesome, though. A tank is your real problem. We'll help you with it, but if we see anything we don't like, we're moving on down the road, alone. We'd appreciate the help. You can't just blast through it, I guess? If you could get it down, the rest would probably be pretty easy. We'll start there. We'll come down and settle in and see if we can help. It's empty. Guys, this is Omid and Krista. Not big on welcomes? Like I said, it's been a bit of a day. We just wanted to say hi and say your train is pretty cool. But we're not looking for charity. We could help you guys, though. Maybe. The plan is to cut that tanker down and be on our way. Seems like plan enough to me. You want to start in on that tanker? I'll get to know the girl for a minute, if you don't mind. And why don't I show you how this thing works, in case something happens. Really, Ken? It's probably for the best. Someone might want to have a look inside of that station back there, too. Sounds great. Let's do this thing. How have you two made it this far? You seem dangerously normal. Krista doesn't let us join groups. And I'm a fucking scrapper. I got the feeling she takes care of you. Please. I've saved her ass hundreds. Tens. 
Sometimes. How long since you've been home? Like six months. We were on the road for a while and then, you know. That's rough. Our cat is gonna be pissed. Talk to you later. I don't know what that does yet. Don't touch it. I said don't touch it, jackass. Teaching him anything? Trying to. Hey there. That's a pretty useful radio for her to be holding on to, no? It's busted, but it means something to her. Oh, I understand. Where are you from? San Francisco. Jeez, a long way from home. I blame the one in there. He wanted the great American road trip. But he got a little more than he bargained for, huh? Who the hell is into Civil War history anyway, other than old white guys? Wonderful. You two will be thick as thieves. Not sure how we'll get that tank down. Maybe ask Omid. He likes to break things. What were you two arguing about when I was coming up the ladder? Nothing. If you're gonna be around for a while, be good to know what baggage you got. And maybe we won't be around for a while. That's about the only useful thing in here. There's no way I'm pulling anything apart down there. Whatever government work was going on here didn't seem to help. One hell of a fireball if we tried to blast through. Can I follow you over there? You don't like the new girl? I do, but it's like we're a team, like you said. Yeah, all right. Come on. Permentine and I are checking out this train station, all right? Hustle over if you hear anything.
you should wait for me before trying to open doors. Sorry. Uh, luckily, it's locked. We'll get better at working together. The window's open up there. Maybe I could look in? Hmm, <clears throat> won't burn. Why don't I put you on my shoulders and you can peek into that window up there? Sounds good. <clears throat> okay, I can see in. What do I do now? What do you see? Lots of crates and stuff. Maybe we can find the key or figure out a way to knock this door down. Kenny'd probably have me pick the lock, which actually might work now that we have the time. I think I opened it. For real? I think so. Well, I'll be damned. Let's go. Be careful. I'm supposed to tell you that. Damn, it's dark in here. Maybe I can hold the door open? I don't like that. I'll prop it open with something. Locked up good. That's exactly what we need. Over there? Yeah, we need to get in there and get that blowtorch. They didn't have much business back then. Wish that thing was in my hands instead of over there. It's too dark otherwise. Doesn't look like that thing's worked in years. There's some space up there, but not much. We're lucky I'm so little. Yeah, we are. You okay going over the top of this fence? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Go on and grab the keys, Clem. Come on, scoot. Everything's fine. Keys, now! Fuck! 
Fuck, it's still locked! go so good. No, it did not go so good. But we're okay. Everything's okay. What's going on? I thought I heard a gunshot. We're fine. We found some walkers. You and an eight-year-old versus three of them, huh? It looks like. What if you hadn't? I'm gonna go make sure the noise didn't cause us any problems. That's a good idea. I hope you know what you're doing with her. We're still alive, aren't we? Yeah, you are. Outside now. What did we learn? I'm not ready for a gun. We learned not to be afraid. They should have got us. But we got them. Yeah, you're right. Fear is the thing that will kill us. You understand? I found a blowtorch in the station. Should make quick work of the coupling up there. Excellent. I'll come up there with you to have a look. There's a leak in it. Turn it off, dude. I, I don't want my eyebrows burned off. Better plug that leak with something. Hope there's holes. That's crazy. Look at it go. Just about got it. Thanks. No sweat, man. This thing is hanging by a thread. The smallest cut and it'll go. I can't reach it now. Damn it, it was just about done, too. Crap. Here. The weak portion of the coupling's out of my reach. You think it'll be within mine? <laughs> no, but I'm gonna dangle you over that ledge. The hell you are! Ah, you're a real son of a bitch, aren't you? Shut up and start cutting. Go! 
Gotta jump! What? No way! Guys! Jump! No! Jump, damn it! Still no! Fine! Next stop, the Atlantic. We have to find a boat. We just have to. We will. You'll be all right. I'll be alive, I guess. Blood in my heart. Blood in my brain, at least. I'll leave you to your thoughts. She's out cold like I've never seen. <coughs> what the? Can't wait for you to get to Savannah, Clementine. I got your parents right here. And you be sure to find me whether Lee wants you to or not. Now, what I need... Shit. I thought that fucking thing was broken. So did I. Well, it sounds like somebody knows where we're headed. Who the fuck? I don't know, but I doubt we're gonna be happy when we find out. Almost at the river. You want to get on a boat? You want to wait around till the walkers figure out we're here? We need to focus on finding the boat right now, Clem. Like we talked about on the train. I don't know how much longer he can keep on like this. If his leg gets any worse, we're gonna have to carry him. Or leave him. If I were you, I'd get out of the street now. Who the hell is this? Answer me, damn it! So when were you gonna tell us about the radio? Who have you been talking to? You come back here, I'll kill you. You understand? I will kill you! <laughs> <laughs> 